Radiometric dating has been the holy grail, so to speak, of the creation-evolution debate. But I don't care about that. What I care about is the facts. So what are the facts about radiometric dating? First, I find it necessary to explain half-lives. Radioactive elements such as carbon-14, potassium-40, and uranium-235 have the tendency to break apart in a process called decay. We can't tell when a certain atom will decay, but we can tell when a fraction of them will. A half-life is the time it takes for half the atoms in a piece of radioactive material to decay. Plutonium, for example, has a half-life of about 24,000 years. Bill Nye explains. So let's say this red water is the plutonium in a spent nuclear fuel rod fresh from the reactor. Well, after one half-life, 24,000 years, diluting this water by half, it looks like this. After two half-lives, 48,000 years, it would look like this. After 10 half-lives, 240,000 years, the water starts to look pretty clear. We know that rocks are filled with minerals. Let's say we take a sample of rock, we crush it up, and extract the minerals. In this case, we'll extract zircon. Einstein gave us a principle of radioactivity, and in the context of dating minerals, the change from uranium to lead. See, there are many different types of radiometric dating. Depending on what you're trying to date, we need to look for isotopes with longer half-lives so we can still have a noticeable sample. Uranium-238, or the parent isotope, decays into lead-206. This is called a daughter isotope. Uranium-238 has a half-life of about 4.5 billion years. But how do we know a half-life that we can't observe? Simple mathematics. If we leave a sample in a room for one day, for example, then come back later and notice that 0.001% of that sample has decayed, we can then determine that the sample would go through one half-life in about 500 years. Now, let's get back to our zircon. We are going to use uranium lead dating to date the zircon minerals we have extracted. We use a mass spectrometer to separate the heavier uranium from the lighter lead. We count the uranium and we count the lead, so after we get relative proportions, we can then know the age of the zircon material. We know then, because of radiometric dating, that there is nothing in our solar system that is older than 4.5 billion years. We can date rock, water, and glaciers, and have a better understanding of our natural world.